And now we're joined by Starfish in the Clouds, and they sort of have an intro before they go on, so... Shiloh and Lisa Starfish were born into the world on a top-secret floating airship engineered multinationally and subsequently funded by several well-endowed barons. They were among the first generation of clones, codenamed Starfish, created in the secrecy of this massive sky farm somewhere out over the Pacific coast and designed to feed slaves into the corporate machine that was rapidly replacing the home of the brave. It was believed that replacing human workers with pre-programmed clones would lead to increased productivity and higher profit margins. The clones could be designed to lack undesirable characteristics of higher consciousness that many human laborers were beginning to display, including foresight, love, compassion, and free will. For better or worse, these two particular starfish began to catch the eye of the airship's clone farmers whom began to notice them singing songs and dancing in their daily stride. It was determined that they would be tra- ter- terminated. They would be terminated so as to not affect the others. Enter Tony. The airship's night ship navigator originally detained falsely over charges of corporate insurgency at a CIA prison camp on Guam. He bartered his freedom for seven years of servitude on the starfish airship. One evening over dinner in the mess hall, Tony caught kind, caught wind of the two broken starfish scheduled for destruction the following morning. Intrigued by the idea of a creative starship and seeing a chance to join the insurgency he'd been previously imprisoned for, he hatched a plan to bust the pair free and assimilate them to Earth life in America. Once on land, he decided to teach them to work instruments, and the three could evade capture in the protective glow of the spotlight. In a botched escape plan involving an emergency escape pod, the entire airship was destroyed. Several thousand workers and clones are believed to have, re- to have been perished over the coast of California, or perhaps it was only supposed to appear that way. Since their first arrival in June of this year, the trio has found shelter in the nightclubs and bars of San Francisco and performs under the name of Starfish in the Clouds. They are, of course, in constant danger of recapture by evil clone farming, airshipmen, in constant danger of recapture by evil clone farming, airshipmen, the whole international brigade, only on stage are they able to relax in the safety of your gaze. Starfish in the Clouds is growing like a new world colony. If you have something to contribute, a voice, instrument, paintbrush, recipe, wisdom, or cheer, don't hesitate to pull them aside and be muse. These starfish are exceptionally friendly, despite what you may have come to understand of typical corporate genetic experiments. Soon they'll be playing near you, so speak up.